Today we're trying out the Ambiano Soup Maker. We picked this up from the Aldi online store. It looks a little like a kettle, a jug style plug-in appliance. It makes smooth or chunky soups. It actually does the blending for you. It says it's suitable for making smoothies as well. It's got the touch control panel, LED display, safety lock. It cuts off before it boils dry. Decent size capacity, preset programs, and it does keep the soup warm when it's completed the process. So let's take it out of the box and see what we're looking at. So here it is. It looks like a kettle style jug. It's got Max and Min labels on there. The touch screen panel here. We that lid. We've got the blending blade on there. That is quite heavy. We've got the power cord and the user manual. This was $34.99. It comes with a three-year warranty, as do most of the Aldi products. There aren't actually any soup recipes in here. I've just taken a, a look through. Lots of tips on looking after the appliance, cleaning it, using it. It tells you what the parts are and how to use the pro programs. Basically, the programs are smooth, chunky, reheating soup and additional blending after you've cooked your soup. It does give you some tips on ingredients, although it doesn't give you actual soup recipes. But you can find a lot of recipes online now, or indeed on YouTube. And we make quite a lot of soups. We've never used a soup maker before. So we're quite interested to see how this is going to work and whether it is. It does seem a bit of a gimmick to us because soups are fairly straightforward to make. But one thing that's throwing us a little is normally when we're making a soup, if we're putting anything like um, onions in there, we would fry the onions up first or saute them before adding them to the soup. So we're wondering whether you still need to do those additional measures or whether this will literally do everything. So let's find a recipe and get some ingredients ready. So the instructions weren't particularly clear. We've decided to saute some of our ingredients, the leeks, celery, onions and garlic. We've diced the potatoes and we're going to pop those into the machine with the chicken stock that we have pre-made and a little bit of extra oil. So I've popped all our ingredients in there. We've got the raw potato, leeks, onions, garlic and celery in the chicken stock. We've put cold stock in here. Now, if you're using cold ingredients, you fill it to the max. And if you're using hot stock or hot ingredients, you put it on the minimum. We just toss that round with a spoon. And we are going to make a smooth soup today. That lid on. So quite simply, I'm going to select the smooth mode and on. And we'll let that do its thing. So this indicates that it's heating. It sounds a little like a kettle boiling and the time is counting down. Definitely getting hot on the outside as well. But the lid's nice and cold. You can lift the lid and check on the soup at any time during the process. And as long as you replace the lid within three minutes, 
it will automatically pick up where it left off. If you take the lid off for longer than three minutes, it will completely reset. And then you'll have to select your program again. So that's indicating the end of the cycle. He's done a bit more blending nearer the end and that should automatically go onto the keep warm function. So we've just added some seasoning to the soup. I'm very impressed with the way it's blended in the jug. You do have the option to blend even more if you like, but I think that's come out really nicely. And it tastes absolutely delicious. So there we have it. That's the Ambiano Soup Maker. I must admit it's worked really, really well. It looks smart, it's very neat, and it's super easy to use. But we are on the fence with this one because we do make a lot of soups and they're so easy to make in the pan anyway. We're not sure we actually need this. Thanks for watching.